here we have the graph and we want to find an equation for the graph either as a y equals tangent function or y equals some cotangent function. We want to determine those a's, b's, and c's. So let's have a look here and first as I see the shape it looks like a tangent. Let's look to see if our vertical asymptotes are in the right place. For just a plain y equals tan x graph we would have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative pi halves and at x equals pi halves. And so those look great. So we're good there, but we know our basic tangent graph would have an x-intercept right here and we see that that is moved down to. So that lets us know this was a tangent graph and let's fill in the tan part right here and we know that we're going to have a negative 2 because we have a vertical shift down. Now it's just going to be an x right here because we see that the period is still pi here and this b would affect the period and we've got our distance between asymptotes and our repeats of the function there are the period is pi so we're good there. So the last thing we need to determine is if I need an a, a number in front, or if that's a 1. So how we're going to do that is we are going to look at this point right here. It was the x-intercepts, but it shifted down to. And typically for tangent then, when if I was up here where the blue one is, if I went over to pi force, I would be up 1 because we know the tangent of pi force is 1. So starting from moving everything down to, if I went over to pi force, the graph for tangent should be up 1 right here where I put this dot, but it's not. It's up 1, 2, 3. So that lets me know that it is 3 times as high as the basic tangent graph, and so I put a 3 right here in front. And there is the equation of the graph shown.